Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to an updated morning routine. I feel like it's been ages since I shared this with you guys. And as my three children are getting older, our routine is definitely changing. It's definitely getting easier. So if you have younger kids, this is what you have to look forward to. If you have older kids, you might get some ideas. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how we get ready, how we get out of the door, everything that we do in terms of the dog, my workouts, everything, what we eat. So I hope you really enjoy this video. If you do, give it a big like. And if you're new around here, I would love you to subscribe for more content like this. And let me know if you want to see an evening routine as well. But with all that said, I start out, well, I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. And I actually slept last night with Jackson and the dog. It's always musical beds in this house. I know that's not for everyone, but it just really works for us. I can't even remember a time when I didn't have a child in my bed. But anyway, the first thing that I do is I put on my watch because I want to get every step recorded on that watch and then I also clean my retainer I shared this on Instagram and I got so many questions about it this is called a Zimmer dental pod but there's other versions that you can get on Amazon and yeah it's just really easy I pop them in and I press the button and it cleans them I lay out gym wear the night before so I'm gonna put that straight on because I am doing a workout just twice a week I wake up early and do a workout and and I can really only manage that two days a week. The other days I kind of sleep in till around 6.45. Um, but because Jackson was in my bed and I woke up at six, obviously he's got up as well. So we're gonna come down to the kitchen. I always try to tidy this the night before so that it's a really nice start to the day to come down to a clean house. I feel like, okay, I can do this. And the first thing that I always tend to do is empty the dishwasher. So if you've seen my evening routine, the last thing I do is turn it on and then I always come down and empty it and I try to sort of time myself or beat the clock maybe it's five minutes or I used to actually boil the kettle and try and beat the kettle boiling um, but I'm just going to get everything put away um, I actually get quite a few questions about our dishwasher lifting up like that it's called a comfort lift and it was so handy when the kids were little I really do like it little things like that that like just help your back are so welcomed first thing in the morning then I'm going to make myself a coffee I'm just gonna have a black coffee I tend to have two coffees in the morning and then that is it for caffeine for the whole day because I'm super sensitive to it and if I have any coffee after like midday it affects me um, so I'm just gonna have the two but I definitely need one today and then while I'm drinking that I'm gonna get the kids water bottles snacks and lunches ready for school it's so nice to do this while the majority of the house is still asleep because I feel like there's no rush I can just focus on what I'm doing and sometimes if no one's awake I'll like watch a YouTube video or turn a podcast on um, so I'm gonna do their water bottles and I actually got some ice out of the ice machine put a couple of cubes in my coffee, put some into their water bottles, and then I'm gonna do the snack. So Fraser has the same snack pretty much every day. He just really likes having an apple and a flapjack. The younger boys, they had something slightly different, but it looks like I didn't show it here. And then for lunches, I'm doing cream cheese sandwiches and a cream cheese wrap for Caleb. So some days they have the hot dinner at school, but not every day, they don't like always want to have it. So today was one of those days. So I'm going to make a cream cheese wrap. Caleb loves a wrap. He seems to prefer it to a sandwich. And then I'm also doing crisps, a tangerine and a little chocolate bar as well. And that is pretty much everything done in terms of lunch, snacks and water for the day. And then I'm going to get Jackson some breakfast. So I recently meal prepped some French toast and I love meal prepping French toast because you can chuck it in the fridge or the freezer. And then when you want it, you can just put it into the toaster. So that's what I'm going to do today. They're all going to have that. So I'm going to pop some in the toaster for him and then I'm gonna serve it with maple syrup I still use my pizza cutter to cut everything and then I'm gonna give this to him and now it's pretty much time for me to get on with my workout still dark outside I find it so hard in the winter to actually do this but I'm gonna put my trainers on and then you'll see in a second it was at this time that Caleb actually comes downstairs there he is um, so he's gonna hang out and then Matt's gonna look after the boys while I do my workout I've been doing two 
two online workouts a week and one in person. So I actually have a PT that I do these with. There's so many great videos online that you can obviously do YouTube workouts as well. But for me, I feel so much more motivated because I have her and actually she's just really nice to chat to. I find like we can just catch up and work out and I pretty much do strength training mostly. Women of my age um, need to do strength training. It's really important because as soon as you hit 40, you start losing muscle and that is something I don't want to do. I actually think about it a lot and I always think what motivates me is I want to be able to be a super active grandma with my kids. I know that sounds crazy, but honestly, I just don't want to lose muscle and movement. So anyway, I'm doing my workout. This is Matt now. He's making the French toast for Fraser and for Caleb as well. I feel really lucky that he is around every morning. Um, once they're all ready, Fraser's going to come and say goodbye. He actually carpools with someone. So some days we don't have to drive him uh, some days someone else picks him up which is just really handy he's also gonna get Caleb ready and then I'm all done my workout at eight o'clock then Caleb is trying to change his school snack he's so funny I'm gonna have a second coffee and then I'm gonna run upstairs and try and quickly get ready I've got about 25 minutes before I have to take the kids obviously they're dressed they're ready to go Matt has brushed their teeth and everything and really at this point I should probably shower I'm a bit sweaty from my workout but as soon as I do the school run, I also do a dog walk and sometimes I get sweaty on that. So I have learned to just stay in the sweaty stuff and just do the dog walk as well. So anyway, I'm going to wash my face, rinse. I'm also going to tone and moisturize as well, do eye cream. And then I'm also going to brush my teeth at this stage as well. And then at least I've got a clean face. I've got nice smelling breath if someone does stop and talk to me on the school run, which actually no one really does. Everyone's pretty like on a mission in the morning. Um, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna layer up because it is really cold here. Um, it's minus two at the moment, but apparently it feels like minus seven. So I'm just trying to wrap the kids up as much as possible, get them to wear their hats, gloves, scarves, all the things they never wanna wear. Then I'm gonna do the school run with these two in the car. And then once I'm back, it is Kiki's turn. She's so funny, she pretty much stays in bed or stays really chilled until the kids leave and then as soon as they're gone she's like okay it's my turn to be like your child um so anyway i'm gonna get her dressed she doesn't love putting her dog coat on but it's actually so cold and she gets so muddy that she really needs it so this is like an equa fleece one and i actually had a zip put in the back because i thought it would make it easier for her to get in and out of but I actually don't know if I needed to do it. Anyway, then I'm gonna put a collar on, got some treats, and I'm gonna put on some wellies. I wanted to show you guys this because we literally just got it. I was running out of space for all of our wellies. We've obviously got so many of us and there's, they're so big. So I actually ordered this outdoor wellie store and it's been brilliant. So that sits outside our back door. And then I'm gonna take Kiki on the field. I feel really lucky to live here and she just loves it so much. She's really good off the lead now. She's obviously two and a half years old now. Um, and we'll just go for like a 50 minute walk. I'll listen to a podcast. I was listening to Diary of a CEO today. They've got like a new one every Monday and Wednesday, so I always listen to it. And then we have a lovely walk. Obviously, the weather today is beautiful. It's nice and sunny, but it's not always. And even when it's not, we still have to go on a dog walk. Um, but then when we return, I'm going to wash her little feet off. She's actually not too bad today, but sometimes she is so messy. And when we were renovating, we put this sink outside and we ran a hot tap to it as well so she's nice and warm but I can clean her off every time so I'll just wash her dry her and then we will go indoors and I'm also going to take off my wellies put them into the welly store this is harder when it's wet outside to do um, and then I'm actually going to have a shower I really need to wash my body and then I'm going to put my makeup on for the day so I thought I would show you that process so starting out with eyes I'm using a Too Faced the Natural Nudes palette which has all nice nude colors and there's actually quite a few shimmers in it as well so I'm going to start at the corner of my eyes with a slightly darker brown and then I'm going to make it lighter on the way 
into the center. I'm not a makeup artist, by the way. And then I'm going to add some sparkles as well. I feel like I'm terrible at doing eyes, but I'm going to give it a good go. And I actually did a little like makeup class before Christmas. And I think I learned a few things. Maybe need to work on my blending, but there you go. But I tend to do the eyeshadow first, just in case any of it falls off onto my face. Um, then I can obviously wipe it off and then do my foundation and concealer. So now I'm doing my concealer. I'm using the Lancome concealer. I will try and link it down below. I really like it. I feel like it really brightens up my under eye. And this is an Estee Lauder brush that I find really easy to use. And for my foundation, I'm using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. It's quite a light foundation. And obviously you guys know I love Estee Lauder Double Wear for like like real like coverage but this one's just that little bit lighter a little bit more dewy so I've been using that especially if I have no spots I tend to use this one and my skin's pretty good at the moment I actually gave up sugar for January and it's really improved my skin um, anyway now I'm gonna put some blusher on this is a Charlotte Tilbury blush and then I'm using Hoola Glow I literally love Hoola I've used it since I was 18 years old I'm still using it um, so I'm gonna put that on in like a three and an E pattern then I'm gonna use some eyebrow glue from NYX and that is pretty much it I've added some lip gloss and then I'm also going to just curl my hair a bit and for this I'm using a Babyliss curler again I'll link it for you guys I've had these for ages I just find them easy to use I probably should put on the glove that came with it but I tend to just hold it and risk it um, so I'm just quickly going to do it I do about four sections on each side and I really like the curl that it gives me and I'm might actually even put my hair up today because I'm filming a declutter video so it would be nice to have it out of my face so I'm just going to kind of brush it out um, and that is my hair and makeup all done for the day once I am all done I'm also going to put on some perfume I got this one for Christmas from Matt it's the Jo Malone green almond and red currant I really like the smell of it it's a great everyday scent so I'm going to spray that then I'm going to make our bed quickly the boys are obviously old enough now to make their own beds so I'm not going to do those see I told you it was getting easier as they get older then I'm going to come downstairs and wipe down the surfaces there's just a few things on the surfaces from breakfast just a few crumbs things like that obviously the kids are old enough to also put their things into the dishwasher as well but I'm going to give everything a nice wipe down before I actually start with work I feel like we've got like a blank canvas and we're ready to go for the day so I'm using my spray wipe done for this it's like my favorite surface spray and then yeah I'm going to start to actually check my emails there's a few ideas I have a few things I need to think about in terms of like working with brands and things so I'm going to do that and then I'm finally going to eat at nearly 12 o'clock so I've been fasting today um, I've started fasting a little bit more so I haven't eaten this morning but now I'm going to have three scrambled eggs some smoked salmon and some avocado as well for my breakfast I'm trying to be super healthy we'll see how that goes but this is my breakfast and then that is it really that is the whole Whole morning I really hope you guys enjoyed it Kiki has just got the sweetest little life this is the rest of her morning she's gonna lay in the sun first of the day so yeah thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye guys